time now to cut across live to a media briefing of India's Air Force chief. Uh, let's listen in. That is the to kind of, uh, I think, uh, confidence that the nation has in private industry today. And uh, I'm sure this is going to uh, pave, pave, our way, pave our way to uh, bigger things coming in the future. As far as uh, Indian Air Force is concerned, uh, I know we are a seafaring nation and uh, the, we need to be the big naval power. But I think whether it's a land power or naval power, Air Force will always remain. The Air Power will have to be interesting to both these. Any kind of operations that we do, we can't do it without Air Power. And I think that has been proved very well during these uh, operations also. So uh, our focus as far as Air Power is concerned, uh, we need to make sure that uh, you know, uh, we, we have to have the capability plus the capacity. This again has been alluded to today. We cannot just talk about uh, mm, producing in India. We need to start designing and developing in India also. And when it comes to producing in numbers, the capacity comes in. So uh, we need to have this trust between the forces and the industry continued. We need to have the communication continued. We need to be open with each other. We need to be very open and forthright with each other so that this relationship doesn't break down anywhere. You know, I'm uh, that pran jai par vachanna jai. I am just told today only. I think that is something that we have to do. That ek bari jo humne commit kiya hai. फिर मैं अपने आप की भी नहीं सुनता है ना वो वाले आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू नंबर्स ए फोर्स इज ट्राइंग इट्स बेस्ट टू डू मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एज फार एज मेक इन इंडिया इज कंसर्न मेक प्रोग्राम आई डेक्स प्रोग्राम द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्डर्स दैट हैव बीन गिवन टू द इंडियन इंडस्ट्री सम ऑफ द रूल्स दैट द गवर्नमेंट मेड आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट वी वुड हैव कम ऑन दिस पाथ ऑन आर ओन there were times when we were always uh, you know uh, doubting the indian industry that it cannot give us the kind of return that we want it cannot give us the product that we want and we were looking outward more but over the last uh, decade plus i think things have changed quite a bit uh, a knuckle on our uh, a rap on our knuckles has uh, you know made us think inward and look inward and then we realized that yes there are a lot of opportunities that we have within india and now also the current situation in the world has made us realize uh, that atmanirbharta is the only solution but uh, we have to be now ready to be future ready so that is the concern that yes i can look at next 10 years we will have certain more uh, output from the industry indian industry we have uh, you know from the drdo but what is required today is required today so we need to quickly get our act together maybe get into some uh, quick make in india programs so that we can achieve that uh, now ready part of it while design in india continues to produce results in the near future or maybe later and of course like i said this war was won by a whole of nation approach the same approach needs to continue while talking about uh, you know empowering the defense forces actually it is not just whole of nation approach it is we have to be whole of nation mission mode if i can call it to make sure that we accelerate and produce results so they said your coffee is ready <laughs> so i need to hurry up so uh, i will just tell you two three things what can you can do in uh, uh, not towards rebuilding the trust or continuing with the trust one is r and d budget i think it has very clearly been brought out by everybody that we need to invest more if uh, i think people from punjabi community will understand something called daswant that we said 10% of our earning sh should go back towards the society so something like C uh, that csr has been started i think something on those line we should start that if i am earning so much 
so much of money should go towards R&D, towards defense of the nation. That, that every industry has to come up with some plan. And uh, we need to have, <laughs> thank you, man. We need to have, uh, I think, clapping last ki di chhodte hai, meri coffee raja hai to. Adequate, uh, you know, impetus toward disruptive technology and also, though it was said very clearly that, you know, incentive doesn't get you people, it is the environment that gets you people. But I think to some extent we need to create some incentive, some good environment so that we get the best people for the job. We are not able to get the best people for the job. People are going outward, they are going and working from other countries. I think we need to retain them here by giving them good payment, good incentive, good work environment, maybe some uh, you know, recognition. Timelines is a big issue. You know, that is where that vachan part comes in. So once a timeline is given, not, not a single project that I can think of has been completed on time. So this is something where we have to look at. Why should we promise something which cannot be achieved? While signing the contract itself, some of the times we are sure that it is not going to come up. But we just sign the contract. Obviously, then uh, the, you know, the process gets vitiated. Uh, capacity building, I've already talked about. You know, Sayyam ki baat kari thi, RM ne, restraint. So, even defense forces have been, you know, keeping this restraint of not calling, uh, you know, a black sheep a black sheep. We've been trying to encourage people, but somewhere it will break down someday. So I'm sure we let's stretch the thread, uh, the, the elastic to that process where it is not breaking down. As far as uh, keeping national interests first, I think we've talked about. And with this now situation where we are going, where we are opening up towards the private industry, I'm just reminded of uh, uh, a quote, uh, something that Winston Churchill has said, and I'm going to quote him, to each there comes a, in their lifetime a special moment when they have figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered a chance to do something special. What a tragedy if that moment finds them unprepared for that which could have been their finest hour. So my request to you all will be, this is something that can become your finest hour. You have a tap on your shoulder. Please rise to the occasion, come together. If today somebody is manufacturing world-class cars, world-class electronics, world-class equipment in the civil domain, why can't that industry or some of the industry join together and say, we will make world-class military equipment, even if it doesn't give me the profit that I'm looking for? Let's rise together to make this nation a great nation. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. And Jai Hind. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, that was India's Air Force uh, chief uh, talking and pitching for a made in India defense sector and, and a sector that where India can depend on its own private manufacturing for defense and military equipment. A strong pitch in. Uh, for by the India's FOC, uh, Air Force Chief uh, AP Singh uh, at uh, the CII summit in Delhi, uh, where you know we just also had India's Defence Minister speak uh, 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 earlier in the day. India's Air Force Chief uh, speaking about the robustness of India's Air Force uh, in its uh, in India's resolute defence. At the same time, also uh, pitching for a future where you know all the world class manufacturers are making in India for India's military and uh, defense sector. Uh, that was uh, uh, India's Air Force Chief uh, uh, retreading the point of Atmanirbharta or self-defense. Moving on. <laughs>